How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech and today I'm going to show you how to fix this problem, a forgotten Apple ID password. So today I'm going to show you the easiest and best way to reset your Apple ID password or as it's also known, your iCloud password. And the coolest thing about this video is because I'm going to show you on multiple devices. So I'm going to show you how to reset your Apple ID from your own iPhone, which is of course the easiest way to do it. It's super quick, but also from a computer. So if you don't have your iPhone with you or if you don't have an iPhone at all, you can also do it from your Mac or from your PC. And I'm going to show you how to do it on all those three devices, iPhone, Mac and PC, right? So without further ado, let's begin. So let's start with the iPhone because it's the easiest and fastest way to do it. So tap on settings and then tap on Apple ID at this banner right at the top with your name. So tap there and then password and security. Let it load. And as you can see, there's a ton of information right here. But what matters to us is the first option right at the top, change password. So tap there let it load and as you can see you'll see enter iphone passcode so all you gotta do is type in your lock screen passcode so the passcode you use to unlock your iphone when you don't use touch id or face id just your usual lock screen passcode type it in and then tap on done and as you can see it'll load for a while and that's it guys that's literally it change password so as easy as that you can reset your Apple ID password. You can type a new one and then re-enter to verify it. And that's it. Super easy, no hassle, so cool. But as I said, maybe you don't have an iPhone with you or maybe you don't have an iPhone at all. So how can you actually reset your Apple ID password from a computer? So let's start with the Mac. All right, so here on the Mac, it's also pretty easy. All you gotta do is click on System Preferences, and then you're gonna go to Apple ID. Please keep in mind that depending on your Mac OS version, Apple ID may be in a different spot. It may be around here or here, and if you're on a really old Mac OS version, it may even say iCloud. And again, it may be here on this bottom part. But if you're updated to the latest Mac OS version, it'll say Apple ID right here at the top, as you can see on mine. So click on Apple ID, and then you're gonna click on Password and Security, that very same option we clicked on the iPhone, all right? Let it load, and as you can see, you'll see a ton of information again, but what matters is right here, Change Password. So as easy as that, you can click on Change Password, let it load, and as you'll see, you probably won't even need to type in your Mac passcode. Maybe it'll ask you, maybe not. In my case, it didn't. So all you gotta do is just create your new password and verify it. So that's it. You can easily reset your Apple ID password on your Mac just like that. Now, last but not least, let me show you how you can do it on your Windows PC. All right, so here on the PC, we're actually gonna need to go to a website, but don't worry because it's Apple's own website so it's super safe, all right? So open up your browser and then go to iforgot.apple.com. I'm gonna have a link in the description and also on the screen, so iforgot.apple.com. And then what you'll see right here is having trouble signing in, and obviously we do, because we don't know our Apple ID password, right? So then what it's asking us is to type in our Apple ID, and by Apple ID, it's actually our email, so just the email. And most people, when they forget the password, they generally remember the email, so the Apple ID itself. So I recommend that you go ahead and type in your email. If for some reason you also forgot your email, you have the option to click here on look it up and you have a look because Apple will help you remember your email, so your Apple ID itself. But as I said, most people do remember the Apple ID, so let's go ahead and continue. So I'm gonna type it in right now and then continue. And then as you can see here, since I have two-step verification, it's gonna ask for my phone number. So that's how Apple can actually identify is actually me. If in your case, you don't have two-step verification, so if you don't have your phone number linked to your Apple ID, you won't see the screen and what you'll see is actually 
your security questions. So you probably remember your security questions like, uh, what's the city you were born in? Uh, what's your, the name of your favorite pet? You know those, those security questions. So if you don't have two-step verification, you'll see those questions, you just answer your security questions, and that's it. You'll be able to easily reset your Apple ID password. But since I do, it'll require a few more steps because of extra security, all right? So I'm gonna type it in and then continue once again. And as you can see here, it'll actually identify my devices and send a notification to all of my devices uh, to actually uh, reset my password. So as you can see here, I'm getting a notification on my iPhone, I'll be getting on my Apple Watch as well. So I'll be getting on all my devices because the, the I forgot website identified all of my devices. But as I said, maybe you don't have other devices, you just have your computer. So if that's your case, you're gonna need to scroll all the way down and click on don't have access to any of your Apple devices. So click here. And then you have a ton of instructions on how you can reset it uh, through signing in on a new device. Maybe you can use someone else's iOS device or an iOS device and an Apple Store. And even if you don't have any of those options, you can even click here on can't use any of the options. And then you have the option to contact Apple support and then they'll take it from there. So the point of this video is to teach you how to do it. But if you can't in any way, at least you know what to do next. All right. So that's pretty much it. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button down below, right? On top of that, please click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. And last but not least, hit the comment section down below. Tell me what you thought about this video, this tutorial, and the channel as a whole. I always do appreciate all your feedback, right? So that's pretty much it. And I'll see you in a couple days as usual. Bye-bye.